So I heard once a story about a person who who came to his rabbi and told him, I I I'm I'm in big trouble. I really need you to to help me to fix some very big sin that I uh, committed. So the rabbi asked him, okay, tell me what, what was the sin? He said, Lashon Ra, I was talking bad things about people. So the rabbi looked at him and told him, that's a very, very severe sin. It's a, a real horrible thing that, that you've done. He said, yes, rabbi, I know, I'm sorry, it was a big mistake. Please help me to, to find a solution for that. So the rabbi told him, okay, do you have a, a pillow in your house? He said, yes. Is it full of feathers? He said, yes. He said, okay, go. Go to your house, bring me that pillow. He said, are you sure, Rabbi? That's like that's what I need to do? He said, yes, that's, that's the beginning. Go, bring the pillow. All right, he ran to his house, found the pillow, brought it to the Rabbi's house. Rabbi, here's the pillow. He said, okay, like, I'll, I'll, are you ready for the next step? He said, yes, okay. He said, okay, so now you need to, to tear the, the pillow. You need to cut the pillow. I said, are you sure, Rabbi? That I'm, it's my pillow. He said, look, you want a correction? He said, yes, yes, Rabbi. He said, okay, so you need to cut and open the pillow. He said, okay. Tearing it, opening the, 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 the pillow. He said, now you need to go all over the streets of the city and just to take a few of those feathers and to throw them away. And every few steps, every couple of steps, to take a few more feathers and to throw them away. And then when you're going to finish, empty all the, the pillow, come back to me. I said, Rabbi, are you sure? He said, yes, it's a big, big tikkun. Don't worry, count on me. I said, okay, Rabbi, I'm, I'm, your wish is my command. Okay, took his pillow, went to the street, started throwing and throwing all those feathers and going from one street to the next and then another alley and throwing and throwing and throwing and like all over the place, full of white feathers, all over the city. Finished, emptied the, the pillow totally, completely. Looking inside, there's another couple of feathers. He's throwing them and then running back to the rabbi with an empty pillow. Rabbi, I finished the second level, the second stage. What should I do now? He said, you finished, the pillow is empty. He said, yes, yes, it's empty. Look at it, it's empty. Proud of himself, full of himself. Okay, so now... What should I do? He told him, okay, third stage and final, you need to go and pick and collect all those feathers back to your pillow. And that poor guy looked at him and told him, Rabbi, how do you want me to do that? How can I do that? How will I collect all those feathers? He told him, you can't do that? He said, no, it's too hard. So he told him, okay, so now you understand that it's very important not to talk Lashon because you cannot collect and bring back all those filthy words that you spoke. Because when you took them out from your mouth, it's already out there. And you don't have the power to collect them, to bring them back. You're going to have to do such a horrible, such a hard tshuva in public. You're going to have to stand in front of thousands and millions of people that you hurt their ears, that you hurt their hearts that you polluted and co co contaminated their hearts and their minds with your filthy speeches, with your evil speeches. And there will be no one to help you and to assist you because the whole truth will be revealed. This is a very scary thing. This is a very important advice to understand that Lashon Ra and talking bad and filth is not our way and it's not the good way and it's not the will of Hashem. And we never, ever heard and saw righteous people who were talking bad things about other people, and especially not about people that serving Hashem is their only interest in life and their only passion in life. That's a very horrible thing to do. So go and start uh, collecting your feathers. And may Hashem bless you with much love. <laughs> Shum <laughs> 